All right, I'm finishing up these these kind of animation cycles of my creature by making my creature get sucked into the church. I, I need maybe just one more. I'm just going to duplicate it, shrink my creature down, maybe warp it a little bit so it just looks a little more dynamic. And then as it gets sucked in, we're going to lose this edge. So there we go. So now I've got all of these. I'm going to put them in a group. I'm going to call this my sucked in group. Right? Maybe I'll mark that with green. All right now I've saved this. This is my assets file. And my hope is that I have now the rough components to do everything in my storyboard. Establish the setting, introduce the character, the character shuffles and moves a little bit on the water tower. The setting starts to change, it glows, the beam comes out, it gets sucked in, and then the roof closes. Right? Obviously the roof has to open at some point too, and that's what's happening right there. All right, so let's see, let's get back to the beginning and see if I can set up that first shot and if I have all those assets. So I can turn off a lot of these. I don't need the tractor beam anymore. I don't need the creature. But I do need the basic church, right? Which is right there. All right, now this is what's called a merged frame, right? That's a scene that I've set up that I know I want in my animation. So what do I need to do? I need to make a new animation or a new frame. And usually I just do eight by eight inches by 150, but this one's a little bit different. So I wanna just jot down what my um, width is and what my height is. So it's 10.767, that's what I need to remember. And I'm gonna create a new Photoshop file. So file new. I'm going to call it Carl assignment number five stage. And it's going to be, well, let me give it the title. So this is no longer the assets. This is the stage. This is where I make the final shots for the film. So that each layer is a final shot. The, um, Resolution is 150 pixels per inch. The size is 8 inches wide by 10.767. That's just mine. Create. All right. So now on my stage, I have to bring this in as my first layer. So how do I do that? Make sure it's saved first, right? Saved while you have all these assets. Then I'm simply going to hit hold down option, go to the very top, the, the, top, the top layer that is turned on <laughs> with an eyeball, hold down option and say layer merge visible, right? And then that puts everything at a fully opaque layer on the top. I say command A to select all of it, command C to copy all of it, go to the stage and command V to paste it in. And now I have my first frame right easy now now it gets a little complicated now i delete the merged layer oh, i deselect and then delete the merged layer right foreground ice is my top layer and now i think okay what's my next frame well my next frame is my creature has to start coming in but is that all i want to do well i can also play with some of these textures right so maybe i'm going to play with the opacity a little bit now that I've set my frame a little. I can even start to push these, the texture fills, so it looks like there's a little bit of movement now in each frame. I can change my lighting a little bit. Right? Playing with my assets. I can move my ice flows a little bit. 
So I'm going to start to move this just a few clicks. Start to move this just a few clicks. Start to move this, this little mist, just a few clicks. So I'm moving these off to the right. I'm moving this off to the left, just a few clicks. I'm going to do that with every frame. All this other stuff, I'm just going to play with the opacity levels, let them kind of fade in and out. And then I'm going to start with my first action, which is introducing my character. So where do I have that? I have it here. My creature shows up. So that's it. This is the, the next frame. So I go to the very top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Command A to copy or to select it all. Command C to copy it all. Go to my stage, Command V, paste it in. So now I have my first animation frame. See what's happened? This is starting to move. That's starting to come in. The atmosphere moves a little bit. The lighting changes a little bit. So far, so good. Might as well save my stage now with Command S. Oh, I want to save it to the desktop. OK, now go back. I deselect Command D, then get rid of my merge layer. Then I move my foreground ice a few clicks, maybe even a few clicks up, too. And then my other one, a few clicks, maybe a couple clicks down. And my mist, a few clicks over. And then play with these opacities within reason. And I can even play with warping them if I want, spreading them out. Bringing them in. Okay, now the next character just comes down like that. And then that's my next frame. Nothing's happening with the church yet. Go to the top, hold that option, layer, merge visible, while options held down, command A to select all, command C to copy, command V to paste it in on my stage. See those changes? So now I have an animation. Starts here, goes to here, goes to here. All very understandable. Just like you know, Tim Burton working with his puppets, sets them up on a stage and then takes the photo. The stage is where you put the photos. The assets file is where you pose all the puppets. Save it, go back. Command D to deselect. If I don't deselect it before I delete the layer, then it will just delete the contents of the layer, but it will leave an empty layer. So delete that merge layer. Move the foreground ice just a couple clicks. Move the other ice just a couple clicks. Move the fog just a couple clicks. Maybe warp it a little so it extends. That's what's great about texture overlays. You can just keep them going. Um, play with the opacities. Sometimes up, sometimes down, but never, never a whole lot. So they stay dynamic. And maybe play with warping one each time, always making it a little bit bigger and softer. Okay, now the next character, right there. There we have it. Yeah, nothing else I need to play with, no church yet. Hold down the option, layer, merge visible, command A, command C, go to my stage, command B. So now I've got four frames. Now all of this is just to get to where the character is introduced, right? But I've built all the assets, so it's pretty easy. And I'm not quite sure how it will look moving yet, but I need to get at least 10 frames before I run an animation test. So Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer, move the foreground ice a little bit, move the other one a little bit, maybe move it a little bit down. 
and then play with the opacities. If I move some up, I'm going to move others down. Let's play with warping. Okay, very nice. Maybe I'll even play with moving this one a little bit now. A little bit. All right. Just so it feels dynamic, you know, the ice is shifting on the water. And then the next creature. Now he's about to land. This is exciting now. Go to the top, hold down option. Notice his tongue is in, right? You need to pay attention to what that tongue's doing so it doesn't just appear and disappear a lot. It needs to flick in and out. Hold down option, layer, merge visible. Command A to select all, Command C to copy, Command V to paste it in. And I can always check and see. If I, if I think there is too much of a movement, I can always go back and reset those assets. But no, it's looking pretty nice. Now, can you do everything completely believably like a film? No, I'm not going to have the sun actually set and all the other things. There's a whole lot you can do, right? I'm trying to focus on my major actions. Okay, so the next one is he's going to land. So it takes about five frames or so for my character to land and be introduced. But I can't forget these little things. <coughs> In a lot of ways, it's the little things that make it interesting. Especially the mist going across. I really like those effects. Okay, next. So now he's there. And his talons hit. And that's all I need. And he's playing with the atmosphere, so it feels like the movement of the wings and him coming in actually affects the shading, but also really revealing the um, the talons a little bit with clearer opacity. Okay, go to the top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, select all, copy, paste in. It is. I kind of wish I'd moved his head more. And so if I do decide that, I just delete that and delete this merged one. So we kind of assess it as we go. And then I'm going to go to that merge creature copy and I'm just going to puppet warp it. I'm changing this asset. Oops. Want the feet where they are. But I want the head to be a little bit different. All right. Yeah, like a little bit more arched. Now let's do that again. Option. Layer merge visible. Command A, Command C, go to the stage, Command V. Yeah, so now that's that's nicer with the head changing. And the talons kind of gripping on. Remember, this is going to go away in just a fraction of a second. Let's save that. Now I get to introduce my character in what's called the hero pose with the tail behind the tower. But I gotta move my foreground ice a little. Keep this stuff dynamic. 